Drivers around the university area have gotten used to seeing a whole lot of orange barrels. Now, on top of ART construction, the city is planning a facelift for another busy street in the neighborhood, Girard. And like the central plan, this one involves cutting down on the number of lanes. News 13's Catherine Mazone explains. City leaders say they're responding to neighbors in this mostly residential area. They say the goal is to ensure people feel safe when they walk down this street. Really just wanting to feel like they can walk their dog and be feel safe. Gerard is a busy north-south street. But City Councilor Isaac Benton doesn't want it to feel that way. So City Council came up with a plan to slow down traffic. To make it uh, feel safer for walking. The solution is the Gerard Complete Street Master Plan. Benton says it's mostly a restriping project, but there are big changes that come along with that new paint. The first portion of the project, Puerto de Sol, down to Central, includes narrower lanes and the addition of bike lanes. But the real change comes just south of Central, to just past Lomas. It'll go from two lanes in each direction to one. When you have two lanes, uh, the tendency of most drivers is to jockey for position, which increases speed. These modifications will also include what are called sharos, where bicyclists and drivers share the same lanes. There's too many people that can't keep up with the flow of traffic. Cyclists we spoke to weren't keen on the idea, but neither was Benton. It's not appealing. The preferred, the preferred uh, situation will be a dedicated bike lane, but we don't always have the amount of right-of-way we need. While some are optimistic about the changes, others worry about timing. There's going to be a lot of congestion resulting from the art project, and with Gerard going down to one lane, it's just going to compound the problems around the University of New Mexico area. As you can see, prep work has already started. The real work and closures are set to begin in the next few weeks. Catherine Mazone, KRQE News 13. The Gerard makeover is set to cost just under $350,000 and wrap up by September. For a look at the plans, head to our KRQE News app.